Welcome back, Pro League coverage, Mr. X, Fox the Don, Jay the Caster. Jay says he loves games at 60 frames per second. Fox no, no, no. loves Before to play things game, at 30 please, frames I, I need per this second. Team to know that Matt likes 30 frames per second games. I enjoy it. Instead of 60. I don't want, what? That's what I grew up on. Dude, me too, but. <laughs> oh, That's on. it. Jay, you won the cast off. Congratulations. <laughs> Jay, plays, Jay plays 30 FPS video I'm games. Crazy. <laughs> All right, it's gonna be uh, Justice versus TCF uh, game number three. Jay, stars up. We're gonna have Justice versus TCM. TCM currently up 2-0 in the series. We're gonna have Biolab CTF. Jared actually really close to this Justice flag. He might opt to pull it. Kills the player defending the flag. Jared gonna pull this one. That's a quick pull from TCM. They might be able to get a cap off this. As four go down for Justice, this looks like a clean cap. All right, look, it's not gonna be a clean cap though because this is Biolab CTF. You're gonna see players spawn around green going for the counter pull, but none of the Justice players committed to it. They had ample time to come in for the counter pull and stop this. That's usually the expected thing on a map like Biolab CTF. When you spawn up after getting four down and the other team's running the flag, you spawn up so close to the flag, it really doesn't matter. You're gonna have to fight off an entire new wave of enemies. Mad Cat coming out on top in that blue gun fight. You gotta wonder what's his movement gonna be like here. But uh, just as I say that, he falls to TCM, but two dead for Team Justice, Jay. What do you expect? to see out of the situation tcm fighting out of their base justice should be able to get a cat or a pull here they are gonna pull it it looks like they are gonna pull it over towards purple side gonna have teammates support it looks like it's gonna be a clean pull you're gonna look for tcm players to try and overextend and try and get that cut off but it's gonna be tcm from justice trying to get this one in but there's one player from tcm who's gonna pull that flag it's gonna be shane nice counter pull from him but he's gonna get shut down the return comes in and now it's gonna be tied at one apiece all right Jer, just a lone player from tcm coming into this justice base picks up one kill before merc turns and burns drops him just as the flag is pulled he's gonna hit that return now it's gonna be mad cat last line of defense for his team Aww. study drops him we're gonna see a flag pull soon but if you look on your mini map right in the center two different tcm players coming through ice doing whatever they want they can get right into square and help this flag cap out if they flag pull but it doesn't look anybody's going for it yeah now it's gonna be moose on the hunt for that enemy flag there's a player directly below him gets that kill on merc two players to his left from justice he gets killed by octane that's gonna be a fail push nice defensive work coming out from justice able to clear out their base and not maybe go for a flag pull of their own justice still playing so defensive no one's really making any sort of moves to square they're all kind of pre aiming and moving so slowly but we're seeing tcm spawn up around purple only two players facing off against oh. two other tcm two other tcm players but T G tcm up team justice is going to get the first kill before being traded by moose now it's gonna be one player from Justice in that. That's Merc who gets shut down by Shane. Big defensive work from him. Now it's gonna be TCM on that hunt for that Justice flag. There's one player from TCM Biolab. It's gonna be Shane trying to get the cutoffs with that bow. Able to get some shots on one, but he's gonna get taken out by TCM. All right, TCM up Justice just playing purple. Oh, turns around for the stun, but he has to reload. Can't finish the kill. Jared's gonna come out on top. Two players alive for Justice as we're seeing the TCM wave pushing into the base. Flag pull coming oh. out by Jared, the OBJ player. Best sub in the game considered by many people. One of the best subs in the game considered by many people, but Jared's gonna fall with that flag out in the snow and T Justice answering back very well to stop the flag run. Yeah, that was almost a clean flag run from TCM, but nice defensive work from justice now it's gonna be shane on the hunt for that flag behind two justice players he's gonna opt to pull this one he should pull this one green he is going to do so he's gonna might be able to get out clean with teammate support no teammates there for him that's gonna be mad cat who gets the assist on that kill shane trying to pull this one but there's gonna be two justice players they're gonna respond now we're gonna have a little stalemate going on and that's typical if you play by lab ctf Right, and right there you saw lots of hesitation out of Shane sitting top green. He wanted to take a green, but he was just waiting for his teammates' communication to see where Justice was spawning up in this stalemate. Octane holding the flag directly on top of his capture point. He's just hoping that someone on his team that he sends out is going to get the two-piece in return that they need to cap this flag. Yeah, Octane has no support from teammates. He's going to be pinched by two... TCM players, they aren't gonna get the kill yet. Merc gonna come in with that teammate support. There's that flag is gonna get returned and the cap coming in. Now they're gonna be up 2-1. Two, oh, two, All right, Octane played that so safe. Great job, for, so intelligently. Great job by him taking that route through green to get the flag cap for his squad. Now we're seeing them play so defensively in this base. Just one man in red, he's gonna fall to Merc. Now, you want to see these Justice players push out of the base, right? That's what. That's exactly what Octane and Merc's gonna do. But just as I say that, two players fall to Mad Cat. So they're gonna play a bit defensively here. Now Octane able to pick up Jared, trying to play some defensive work. He's just inside this yellow, gonna get heavily stunned, but there's a big gunfight going on around TCM's flag. That's gonna be one. That's four down for Justice. This should be a flag pull. Let's see if those players from Justice are gonna overextend. They are gonna do so. Shane gonna have that flag in hand. 
And really their only option is to overextend. TCM of Team Justice playing around top purple, going for the flag pull, but TCM sniffs that play right out, takes him down. Merc with the flag in his hands, though, as all the TCM players fall. This could be a flag cap for Team Justice as Merc taking it through square, loses the gunfight. Shane's going to return it. We're seeing lots of back and forth action here, and as expected on Biolab CTF. Oh, yeah, you're going to see a lot of stalemates on this map. That's three down for TCM. The flags are going to be respectively at each other's base, and we're going to go into this half with a 2-1 lead in favor of Justice. All right, just two seconds left. We're not going to see anything too crazy go on here. There is a flag out, but it's not going to make a difference. 2-1 is your score going into the second half, guys. Very intense match. Lots of back and forth. Biolab CTF is the kind of map to bring that action to you when you spawn, when you all get four down, like we saw Justice do when they were they got all spawned up green. The question was, are they going to overextend? The answer is 100% yes. They cannot possibly afford to wrap back through red to their base. They're going to have to go straight from green through blue and stop the flag and hopefully get the counter pull to stop the flag run. Yeah, exactly. They're going to spawn. And wh which side do you think is the more advantageous side on Biolab CTF? Which side is advantageous? Really, on a map like Biolab CTF, it's, there's no clearly advantageous side. There's, like I said, the spawns are going to work against you no matter which side you're on. Yeah, I totally agree with that one. It's just Biolab CTF is a little crazy. You're going to see a lot of stalemates on this map alone. Jared, on my screen, Merc's able to take him out. Merc's going to keep pushing up towards that enemy base. Not gonna see anything yet. 20 seconds in, he's able to pick up another one. That's gonna be Mad Cat. He's gonna get a pull. Pulling out that flag. He's gonna run this one snow, but Shane gonna shut him down. Nice defensive work. Merc pulled that flag. He was gonna be stopped almost immediately. Moose pulling the flag of his own, running this straight from blue through green, but he has stopped. Octane is the player to do it. Let's watch him and see what he does. Gets the two piece going for the flag return. Nothing's gonna happen here. Yeah, Octane gonna get taken out by Mad Cat. So Mad Cat gonna be pushing up ever so slightly to that enemy's uh, flag. Mad Cat able to pick up another one. So he's gonna run this one back to over to green side. And there's gonna be players overextending from Justice. Jump on board with someone from over there. It's gonna be Octane gonna get shut down by Moose. Merc on your screen. Mad Cat gonna have that flag. Can he get this flag inside? He's gonna jump down. No, it's gonna be stopped just short. Can his teammate pick it up? Shane does that and now it's gonna be tied to a piece. All right, Mad Cat's swift movement is what's going to get him so far through green, but Shane is the play, was the player to pick up the flag as soon as he fell to the Justice Squad. So all tied up here with just, with just over three and a half minutes. There's plenty of time for this map to go either way. Moose is the one with the flag in his hands. He's sitting top blue, just waiting for some hope for his team because he knows he's cornered. Justice players are going to sniff that out, stop the flag run right away, getting three dead. The flag run was trying to happen, but it's going to be shut down on the other side of the map in snow. Yeah, both flags are gonna be reset. Are you gonna look for teams to push up? TCM from Justice on the hunt for the enemy flag, able to pick up two, so he's gonna be pushing through through this orange tunnel. There's gonna be one player from TCM trying to wrap back to his flag. Right to his right, he just missed him. That's gonna be Jerd who picks up that kill. Can he find the second as well? Study gonna be cleaned up, and that's all three down for Justice. Now it's gonna be TCM pushing over towards Justice's flag. Justice spawning up in blue. You gotta wonder what their push is gonna be like, Jay. What do you, what do you expect these players to do here? I think TCM, all they need to do is just play this. They're already up past the halfway point of the map. They have map control. They just need to pick up the kills that they want and get in control of that base. But it's going to be one player from Justice trying to sneak in. He's going to get shut down. And TCM just not able to do anything off of that push. All right, lots of separate play coming out of TCM right here as they're spawning up all over the map. Look at your mini-map right now. There's a flag pull, but only one TCM player was even close to stop it. So, flags going out on both sides, actually. So, we might have another stalemate situation. Someone on Justice, that's Merc, trying to stop the flag, or trying to continue the flag run alongside TCM of Team Justice. They're running it through Circle. No one is in range from TCM to stop TCM of Team Justice. Lots of letters going on. Hope you love acronyms, because I sure do. This should be a flag cap for Team Justice, though, as TCM puts it in for the squad yeah justice gonna take a 3-2 lead his teammates while he was running that flag were just able to get all those cutoff kills allowing him to get that uh cap inside of their base but now it's gonna be a stalemate as both flags are gonna be pulled flags gonna be returned tcm moose gonna have that flag in hand trying to run this one in might be able to have a clear shot as his teammate is distracting it's gonna be one player from justice trying to pull that flag he does can he get the kill and the return in the cap as well moose in a big gunfight inside of his base able to pick up the kill but he's gonna get dropped shane in there still keeping that flag alive the flag is still alive for tcm 
Oh my goodness, Shane just went huge right there. It's just buying his team so much time. He was able to put that flag cap in. We saw that Justice player was able to come in and get the two-piece, but his movement was just not enough for him to stop the entire flag run. TCM tying this game up 3-3, just a minute and a half left. Such an intense back and forth match. As we said, it is BioLab CTF. You got to expect that. TCM players taking the flag, running it through blue. There's one player in the way to stop him, but Jerd's going to be the one to shut him down, and Mad Cat's going to have a clean run through green. Me one player from Justice, it was Merc who gets shut down. Looks like Mad Cat trying to put this one in. Teammate support is able to do so. They're gonna go 4 3 with a minute left. Justice need to respond. All right, Moose playing through square here. There is a player just around the corner. He's sniffing him out, looking for him, but Octane shuts him down. Four versus two. You gotta expect Justice to try and get some map control and map push here onto the TCM base. That's gonna be this Justice player, TCM, playing inside bottom Eskies before Mad Cat shuts him down. Mad Cat spotting another player rather three kills in a row. Let's stick with him, who's on a five kill streak. He's got that Bloodthirsty going for a squad. Shane looks like he's about to get one going as well, but Mad Cat is the one to get the next kill. Orange player, Merc, is going to shut him down. Yeah, Justice need to get a pull very soon. Study, just waiting for his teammates to maybe come up and support, get a sneaky cap or something. Jared is going to get fall, fallen in the hands of Study. They have one last push to do. Study going to fall as well. So now it's going to be no players in route for that flag, and there's not actually, enough time to get that. Actually, it's Merc and Octane that are on route to try and stop this push from the TCM in their base, but they just can't do it. Octane's going to get the two-piece. Not much going on. Not much is going to be able to happen for the Justice squad. They're going to lose this map 3-4. Yeah, it was a pretty close map, but TCM clutching up when they had to, able to get that flag out and around in the base. I saw a couple of uh, clutch caps coming in from Mad Cat, who just ran some insane routes. Yeah, he ran a couple of flags through green. Absolutely giving them that lead, obviously winning by just one. TCM played this map very strong, I would say. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, guys, nice mention of the scoreboard a bunch of times. Uh, Biolab CTF can always be a crazy time. I mean, flags are going in every which direction, but you guys did a really good job of just painting the picture, keeping everybody informed on what was happening. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight, Jay and Fox. I'm sure we'll both be hearing from, uh, well, we'll all be hearing from you guys on Friday. Uh, cast off finale will be on Friday, this Friday, special show. So uh, that is it for our Pro League coverage tonight. Tomorrow, I believe, is Ben. No, it's uh, Pocket. Pocket's duo tomorrow night. So. Stay tuned for that as well. But for us, see you tomorrow.